It's the pasture so wet, so if I fall off, I'm gonna be soaked and I have no saddle on and just a halter. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to a, another vlog. So we're supposed to be having like a tropical storm this weekend. I think its name is, what's its name? Grace, I thought it was Fred. I don't know what it is. Maybe we have two, I think, I don't know. So our big barn door is down. So as you guys know, when we build the barn, it is like hurricane proof, whatever you call it, rated. So the barn door is down. Plus we just got, oh my gosh, Mike's playing with Dommy. Hi kitty kitty. Mike's here to help. Now I'm in the barn. Like I was saying, we were supposed to have like a tropical storm or something like that. I don't know when it's coming. I don't know. That's just being typical Floridians, not really knowing when it's coming. But we have a lot going on in this barn. Look who it is. Miss Junie girl. She's in Cash's stall. Cash is still away. You guys, I wanna show you just like a quick little video of Cash and my trainer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here now. So there he is, and as you guys can see, he's just practicing the pattern. He's been there for like maybe two weeks or something like that now, I can't really remember. So we have a couple more weeks left. We miss him, things have changed. And June thinks the first stall is her stall now. She's programmed to go there. But her and Blaze are becoming rather good buddies. Oh no, I feel like Blaze is starting to get a little bit of a summer sore, kind of. It looks like it. we've never, ever, ever gotten summer sores with our horses, but right there. Of course, right on his nose looks like it's starting to get a summer sore, so we need to get that figured out. We don't want summer sores. Right, Junie? The summer has wreaked havoc on these horses this year. I don't know why, but hey, you better be nice, you two. Between all allergies and things like that. This is like literally a Cash and Blaze duo, all in one, but with another one. And Lulu. Hi, Louie, how are you? Look at this good boy, you guys. Let me come up to him in his stall and pet him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How are you, Louie? How are you? You're a good boy. Does that feel good? He's so cute. Oh my. So we just kept the big barn door closed um, overnight just because in case we got a lot of rain and then also we got our new set of hay. So, we didn't want it to get wet. I'm gonna go in Trigger's stall really quick because it's kinda funny. Trigger is like on free choice hay, but basically in like a slow feeding operation here because the hay always has to go so close to his stall. So through the grates of his stall, he munches, as you can see this hole here. All of these bites across, but it's all right because Trigger is a pretty hard keeper, so it's good that he gets to literally eat hay and forage every second of his day, right Triggy? It's so good. So I would not trust any of my other horses to be next to hay like this. Like I trust him just because he's so good about it. Oh my gosh, he got a little crusties. But as you guys can see, look, his eyes, when he's in the barn, like I told you, his eyes go down, they're not swollen. It's when he's out in the pasture with like the pollen and such out there but his eyes are back to normal. It's nice seeing his eyes go back to normal. This eye has some crusties on it. I gotta take a warm cloth and get that off of him. We don't ever really like prep for tropical storms. We honestly hardly even prep for like hurricanes unless they're like crazy bad just because like we just have to make sure that there's not literally flying objects that would hit any of our animals. But other than that, we don't really like need to super prep. We've been through so many of them. Our prepping now is just like animal sake. But I will say we wanna make sure that our barn 
is super nice and clean and it's not clean right now at all because of the hay. Like, I'm embarrassed. Look at this. Look at all of this mess. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. So we need to clean the barn today. But I also need to like start moving some of my chickens around. It's just a lot going on in this barn. Dinky! Hello! Good morning, my friend. I hear you out here being angry. Are you an angry donkey this morning? I think he's throwing hay out there for you, girl. Mike's up front throwing hay and she's just back here. Doesn't know what she's missing. We had to move my speckled Sussex to the hay back here next to Blaze's stall because we had to move all that new hay in. And we just up and moved her over here. She's got her nest. <coughs> Hello, it's okay. She's like, get the heck away from me, lady. But she's really nice actually about it. Let's see what she got. How many do you got underneath there? Okay, not too many. I think uh, five. Don't peck me, meanie. This is what it's like though. This is my first hen that's ever gone broody in my barn, so it's really interesting, but it's kind of fun. So one day I'll come out here and there'll be like little chicks running everywhere, because when my hens go broody, they go broody in their coop, not in my barn, Missy. You, going broody in my barn. Little impromptu, Mike and I are gonna ride just like bareback. So I'm gonna ride June, he's gonna ride Blaze. I was thinking about riding Trigger because it's, we're not really like doing anything like harsh or anything like that. I just don't really like to ride Trigger in the summer much just because he gets really, really hot. But I was going to, but then I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go bareback. So I need a horse with a really like wide back. So we're gonna go with the little quarter horses. Meanwhile, Trigger has more of like a narrow back, if that makes sense. So, and I haven't ridden in like two weeks maybe because of all the rain. So, you know. If I'm gonna be sore, I'd rather be a little bit less sore by riding a horse that has a wider back right now since I'm gonna ride your back. Mini girl! They are so fresh right now because they wanna eat their hay that we just put out in the pasture. But I am, it's, the pasture is so wet, so if I fall off, I'm gonna be soaked and I have no saddle on and just a halter. But she's doing pretty good. I haven't ridden her in a while either, so kind of funny. I've just been riding Cash, and like I said, he's been away for two weeks, so I literally haven't rode in two weeks because it's just been raining every single day when I can actually even ride. But I figured I was, you know, just needing to ride. And it's the weekend, and what else do you have to do when it's just full of rain? You ride, I guess. Oh God, now we're right in direct water. No mare. There's Mike. <laughs> Over there, Blaze is being a jerk because he wants to eat the hay. What are you doing? She's like, yeah, we're gonna sit here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mike said that this was like our stupidest idea. <laughs> Because we hadn't um, rode in a while, and especially these two horses haven't been rode in a while. I mean, you know, just a couple weeks. Well, actually, more than that, because like I said, I've just been riding cash, so it's been a couple weeks since, and it's raining, and my mare is making us leave. Now we're casually walking, so this is good. We're in the back pasture, and we're just hanging out. I did not plan for this to happen in this vlog, but... You know, wild hair, when you get a little inkling to ride, you ride. The horses are now out to pasture eating their hay. We just got done riding. I'm like literally sweating because it's so humid with all the rain. And you know, my favorite thing about a air conditioned tack room is this. When I'm working on like barn chores or in the barn or even done riding, I literally like just to go right here and just cool down for a minute. The AC is really going and in no time I will be cooled down again. So I'm just taking a breather. I actually need to fill up a bucket for cow feed. I need to bring some cow feed over there and I need to um, bring some pig feed and then pretty much all the feed that I need to do and then everyone else is already fed. So we're doing good. I don't know when the rain's supposed to come, but it's not gonna be fun later because right now I can tell the rain is coming. It's so humid, but um, later when it, we go to feed later, I can already tell that we are gonna be not feeding in the rain anymore because we have a barn, thank the Lord, but just getting the horses into their stalls and running from the house to the barn, we're just gonna get soaked. 
Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <sighs> so much water. Just mowed the grass because it was really long because we've had so much rain. This dog's crazy. We've had so much rain. She's not even supposed to be out here right now. She snuck past me. That's why she's out here because it's like a soupy mess. And it's only going to get worse as the rain gets closer. <laughs> Mike just got hit with the stick. But she weirdly wanted to be outside. But I've only been letting them go outside to go to the bathroom right now with all the rain. Since it's just a muddy mess. But, you know, Lexi loves playing fetch. So she has to get some fetch time in. But, of course, this one's out. This one's always out. Because she doesn't play in the mud. Because she's a good pig. Hello. Oh, Penelope doesn't want to play fetch. Penel, what do you think about the storm coming? There you go, Penel. Penel, play fetch. <laughs> Just licking your fingers. Hi, my cows. Hello. This pasture stays pretty dry actually all around except this area where they just kind of like pace back and forth where their feeder is. Look at Moose's whole hoof is gone. But for the rest of the pasture, high and dry. And now they eat. Dinky! Hi, pretty girl. Feeding the piggies. And guys, if you remember, I don't know if you guys saw my vlog. I don't even know if I vlogged it, actually. We finally took the pond out, created their own, like, nice little pond area. And it's done a really good job of staying like a pond. We've got all this, like, natural, like, wood around it. We've got our pigs eating. Look at the chickens going in for a drink. Mr. Pig, go eat. You just want to see us, huh? Little pig didn't want to share with Stewie today. So Stewie is back here by the little swine lake over there. And Mr. Pig is eating over here. Typically it's so hot out right now because we're in the middle of summer, but it's like so overcast. Look at this view. Hello. And there's like no sun and a storm is coming in. So we've been trying to like clean up the property per usual just because there's stuff always everywhere. But we recently got like, I don't know if you guys remember when we got that oak tree taken down in our front yard, we still had the stump. So we got the stump grinded. So we have this huge pile of mulch in our front yard. So I'll show you that. And then we're gonna jump on the tractor and remove that. This, this is our, okay. So our neighbors keep shooting and I can't even get this word out, but this is our giant pile of mulch that I was telling you about. This is literally just from the stump of the oak tree. It's pretty crazy. So we have had this in the yard for far too long now because we got the stump removed like a couple weeks ago. So we need to move it. Bagel, we need to use that. Oh my God, he looks so fancy. Bagel, you need to move. We're gonna need to use that. All right, time to start it. Let's see if I remember how to start it. Push it to the right, there you go. Lower. Give it a shake. What? Shake it. Shake what? That's good. My barrels that I practice with have managed to just be all over the pasture. So we are gonna move them. That's a floating barrel. My got one, trying to venture to see where Oh, it's just so muddy everywhere. And I literally have sandals on. I didn't wear the right shoes for this. All right, Mike, you're doing a great job. I think I'm just gonna stay on this side of the moat for safety for now. It's a one person job anyway, so. Thank you, Mike. Hiya. 
Lexi thinks those are fun. Ah, uh, yes, to go. This is our basically our pond out there. <laughs> Guys, that is our burn pile that we are going to be burning like within like the day or something like that since we've had so much rain and it's not really dry. Cannot wait to burn our burn pile. It was non-existent for so long. That had a lot of water in it. There's a fly mask. And look at that. No horses or a donkey with a fly mask on. Wonder why. Now that that's done and I did nothing, back back onto the tractor to go move the mulch so it doesn't go flying around and make a mess all over my front yard. That's it, all the way back. Still just hanging out. Oh my gosh, my lens is all foggy from the rain. Look at my cute little ducks over there. They love when it rains, but their heads are tucked. How cute is that? Their heads are tucked like underneath their wings. Jojo is back there with Dinky, Blaze, and Louie. We got over when we were taking the tractor through, but they really like to be back here with the horses, so I'm gonna let her hang out back here. So now that I'm looking soaking wet, we're closing the barn. Um, there we go. So the barn is closed from up front so that the hay doesn't get wet because when we have like large storms like this, like tropical storms, or even just like super heavy storms, we just don't want the hay to get wet. So that was fun while it lasted. You guys, well we tried to do as much prep as we could. It's not like even like a hurricane or probably not even gonna be that bad anyways, but with hurricane season creeping in, we will obviously have to start prepping more and more to make sure that the grounds are always like not like super messy with like debris or anything like that because hurricane season is in full effect and it's way easier if we just like start to prep before any like hurricane seriously comes so we're starting we're getting things moved around so it was a good go for a couple hours so that is it for this little getting ready for this like tropical storm farm vlog with me we spontaneously rode, cleaned up a bunch of stuff, and here we are, so it's raining, it's only gonna get harder. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. If you guys like today's video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos, and of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to, all right you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.